what do you see here a child hanging on the door and risking his life because he has to survive by begging this is a common scene of northern india one day i was on the way to bhopal and sitting in the train i saw a small child hanging on the door and begging for me his hair was long and long uncombed his shirt was dirty and with number of holes the train is moving and leaving in the station i just concerned about his life and i shouted jump jump he is still hanging on the door finally i threw money out on the platform he smiled and jumped like a circus man ladies and gentlemen i would like to introduce my project is called child in rail to understand the problem of railway children in india india has the biggest number of street children in the world unicef estimated more than 11 million of children living in the streets in india can you figure the number it is almost the double population of whole switzerland why do they choose railway station very simple because station provide food shelter and money this money come from through begging cleaning in the train and selling drugs in the train just imagine a child life living in the hectic bustle of a busy railway station always surrounded with hundreds of passengers policemen porters rickshawalas beggars i never thought much about the situation until i saw a small child in raipur railway station when i saw he is lying in the railway platform quivering shaking shivering and rolling in the ground i recognize it is epilepsy because i had epilepsy in my childhood times too see you can see sometimes i feel scared i completely gone my epilepsy but still sometimes the hand is shivering then i took him to the hospital and doctor confirm epilepsy and he told me he need a long term medication i asked the child where is your home he simply pointed his finger into the railway station i asked the boy again where is your home where is your family he simply pointed his finger into the railway station again when we returned i saw his family also children like him it is very hard to me to leave these children the child in the railway station the love and care of my family helped to cope from this epilepsy but here nobody is here to looking at him nobody is here to take care of him this created my passion to warn work with railway children after this incident i regularly visited the railway station when i visited i distributed food snacks sweets but later i understand food is not their problem what is their actual problem i need to know i conduct a research on the railway station a small study and i found majority of the children are illiterate drug addicted sexually exploited and victims of violence how can i solve this problem i again 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 visit the railway station finally i find my solution that is my project child in rail 
Child in Rail mainly offers three services. One is an evening school. Second, a child bank. A third, a child parliament. Even in school. After my study, I understand there are two main reasons the children are not ready to go to school. First, the daytime they are working. Uh, they don't have any time to go to school because they need to survive. Second, the children have no ID card. So the schools are ne not ready to accommodate them. So my evening school can provide a basic education to the children. My second project, a child bank. Why most of the children are drug addicted? After my study, I understand the children are earning money through begging. And they spend all most of money uh, for the drugs. Why they are using drugs? Finally, I understand because they don't have any space to keep their money. Because if they have a space to keep their money in their hand, mafia, somebody come and pick their all money. So they use their all money in the same day. Because otherwise, somebody come and pick all. So if I understand, if they have a space to keep their money, the drug use will be definitely reduced. That's my second project. Program is called Child Bank. And my third program is called Child Parliament. Child Parliament is a place, a platform. Children can come and share their problems and find the solution themselves. Just please go back to your childhood times. In your childhood time, maybe you are always fighting with your parents, maybe your brothers or maybe your sisters. But somebody needs to solve this problem, a mediator. So your mother, your father come and solve this problem. So like this, these children are also very small and fighting is always common there. So there is need a mediator to solve their problem. So child parliament is working as a mediator. Dear all, I would like to close my speech with a beautiful poem written by a street child. And this poem, he explained the attitudes of society towards the street children. They call me street child. It means anonymous. That's not my name. My name is Adeline. It means beloved. They call me bad girl. That's not my name. My name is Kara. It means precious jewel. They call me beggar boy. That's not my name. My name is Pito. It means gift of God. They call me street child. It means Anonymous. That's not my name. Thank you. Thank you, Sanoj. That was a wonderful speech.